Hey, what's going on guys? Ice Cold with the Straws, and today I'm going to be going over Villa and how to set up as Smoke and how to play correctly. Now, if you guys want any other maps, please let us know in the comments and let's get straight into the video. Starting off in the first site here, we're going to start with a weeder. Usually as Smoke or Mute, you want to start by making the rotates or the feet holes as shown. The bar holes will help watch the cross towards either 90 or top main if you ever give it up. Next up, you want to make rotates. Now, many people do it differently. I like to make this a running rotate. Uh, it's just for ease of access for you and in case they like plant the bomb or something you don't have to crouch and they hear you know you can just sprint through here you know kill kill easy peasy next up for the holes i usually like to make top holes or bigger head holes on top just so you can throw a smoke over example here you throw it over and you could basically smoke the vault plant or smoke the av door as shown here the last one of the head holes here is going to go across the AV walls. People have done this just so you can watch the cross in the study, and so you can't just get the study control right away. Next up, let's get to the four holes that you should put as me or smoke or anyone with the shotgun realistically. The shotgun holes on the floor will help your main players if someone plays there, and you might be able to get a free pick regardless. Another hole that I like to make is this one behind the bomb right here. Now this watches into living door in case they try to back up your hatches. Usually, I just like to pop the 90 hatch, just because you can see on the default cam in the bathroom. And if you need to escape from 90, you can always drop, or you can just use it for sound. Now, reinforcements here. The first one that someone is going to get is the 90 vault wall. You're also going to get these bar walls here. You're going to get one on the left and one on the far right. Next up, you're going to want to get the bar reinforcements here in sight towards study. And you get both of these here and then also i like to reinforce this wall right here right next to this rotate just so you can get wall banked through the holes looking towards me you can always play on this wall and it's kind of a safe space some people like to reinforce this wall as well just personal preference next up you're gonna get this av wall here and those are all the walls for sight uh if you want to reinforce across you can always get the triple wall let's go on the shield placements now the shield placements usually some people like to put it on the vault door the next shield spot i want to show you is top main now, there's two different shields on the top here and then there's one on the, the mid platform that i'll show you this shield right here very very great you can uh, crouch into it. a lot of people like to play here instead of here it's on top main just because you have a better cross here you can also watch the window put eds is here or you can put it on the study door there what's that mean second shield right here put eds's down here or my disc and you can just watch the the come in but realistically it doesn't really cover that much the last shield i want to show you on main right here shoot these little beams watch the main come up they have to use utility well my disc are very good with this you throw my disc up here maybe put an eds in these corners here and you can hold main like this you can also use your smoke smoke main series and you can just hold put the shot pull the shotgun out Get your free kills right here so now let's get into the second site next up here we have statue and deer trophy as people like to call it there's different ways to set the site i'm going to show you the one site that we like to do in professional college play and fpl so we're going to make hen holes along the statue wall and then in the closet wall as well and then you're going to want to make shotgun split holes right here just so you can watch the cross it's a master or you can watch deer if you want i like to open the astro hatch so you you can get an escape and then i like to make a runnable rotate here and astro into deer now really that's all the holes that you need uh reinforcements wise we're going to get two of the astro walls here we're also going to get two of the main statue walls looking towards master and then we're also going to get these closet walls right here two on the left And that will protect you from closet. They have to use hard breach to open that. Uh, now that's really all the reinforcements that you need. Now your shield. There's a couple different places people like to put it. The main default shield, usually master door. You want to put it offset a little bit, just like this. So you can get this little crack here and you can look towards closet. Second shield that people sometimes like is this looking towards closet. You can open this up a little bit more to your preference. And you can see the closet jump in. You can also smoke it if you really wanted to. Deny that spot. The next shield I want to show you is this split one right here. You can get shot from the master bell and you get this pretty nice little angle looking towards closet if they're tucked there another shield and astro and you just hold here easy peasy but you can't get needed from below on most sites just heads up soft floor easy as that let's get into the next site 
All right, now this is gonna be the last site I show you because the living room is not a valid site and I don't believe that anyone should ever go there whatsoever. So, starting off here with the feet holes, we're gonna make them into laundry here and then we're gonna make a rotate into China here, usually runnable, or you can make a crouch depending on what you like. And then I like to make top holes as well on to China. Next up, you're gonna make the rotate into memo. Those are all the holes that you really need. Uh, if you want to make the shotgun hole above here too, that is ideal just so you can watch the bathroom jump in. Now reinforcements, we're going to get one kitchen wall looking towards pantry. You're going to get one china wall. You're going to get the brown stairs wall as well. You're going to get one laundry wall right here. And you're also going to get this wall here as well looking towards memo. And then you're going to reinforce these two memo walls off. On this map, people like to extend upstairs as well and reinforce triple. So that's what I'm going to do here. And someone up top, either one of your roamers or like a Mozzie or maybe a Malusi can hang up here and maybe get some free picks. Work around. When you're playing Kitchen Dunning, you want to waste time and you want to try to get as much info as you can as drones. So those should be all the reinforcements that you need. Let me show you some shield spots that you should know about. So the first shield spot I want to put here on the cupboard looking towards the laundry here. You can also shotgun this out if you want to. You can get a nice angle here. See a guy, peek him, boom, boom, easy peasy. Maybe put some ADSs on my disc there. Another shield looking towards the laundry here. You want to off center this a little bit. Put some of my desk in the laundry if you want to, maybe an ADS behind one of the cabinets here. Deny time, you can also smoke off the doorway. Usually people like to flood here, and you can't get past the shield, which is super nice, but if you put a little bit back, I believe you can go through it, but this is ideal just so they can't just run through. These feet holes right here will cover the laundry running, which is super, super nice. And you can also look at them if they try to come to the door in the memo if you try to hold them. I forgot to mention this, but sometimes you can make the top holes here as well. They do get an angle if they get into memo above the couch. They basically aren't hidden, so you should be able to see them unless they have like ember eyes or something on. But this has a good angle as well. You can watch the pantry in the kitchen run in. Like I said, you can hold memo here if you wanted to. And yeah, that's basically the site setup for kitchen dining. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want more, let us know in the comments, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching.